I'm utterly appalled and disturbed that you would run a skit about taking callers out Lacey Peterson style. Ah. In my opinion, Tom, you're, you're a satanic monster. and you, I'm a satanic it, monster? You, you know, every time I hear that, that thing you guys do, the skit about her death and her, son, and her, her son's and her tummy death, I, I think of her in that what? photo. I think of her in the red paternity outfit and Christmas necklace. And her sitting on the wicker chair, Lacey Peterson. I well, you know an it. awful lot about this case. Are you a stalker? There's pictures of that picture. It's an infamous picture. I live in the Bay Area. And who do you think you are doing something like that? You probably have a kitchen table made out of plywood you sacrifice small animals on. Really? Uh, well, we, yeah, we, yeah. We, we give the people what they want. If they ask for that, we give it to them. Well, you made it up. And you're the... You, you That's get because it. the listeners called and said this is what we want. Well, don't you feel bad? Oh, I'm as offended by it as you are. Everybody at the dental office I work at, I'm a receptionist. We were really upset when we heard it. So you, you were you, all you, listening? You used to be on in the Bay Area, and you got, that's probably why you got taken off. Because you got taken you're, off? You're a mean... You're Is that a, why you got taken out of high school? Because you get taken out of your English class? I'm so upset right now. I'm, I can't even think straight. Are you going to break your radio? No, I'm not. I, I'm... You know what? If I was in Hollywood and I seen you and you made a comment like that, I would put my frozen yogurt down and slap you. Is that so? Who is this, Perez Hilton? L look. Listen, Perez, where, where Fidel Castro says hi. Who do you think you are putting that on the, on the radio? I give the people what they want. Yeah, well, I want you to fall on top of a rattlesnake in the desert. Is that so? How old are you, son? Don't call me son. You're not my dad. How old are you, you dork? I'm 23. And her, her 23? And uh, you were in the slow lane in school? Is that the deal? No, I'm sticking up for Lacey. And you know what I mean. To, you used to be ashamed of yourself, Tom. Who do you think you are playing that? Well, you've that? said it. Do you have any other material? Is that all you're going to say? Oh, no, I do. Got other well, I'm, I'm listening. I, you're going to have to stop repeating the same line over and over. Well, I just don't understand why you would make fun of people's death. You've already said, like you, again, you're pretty much repeating the same sentiment. But you didn't give me a, an answer. You I said, I give the people what they want. You exemplified garbage. That doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? People don't want to hear that. Who wants that? I have. I don't know anybody that wants that. Well, I, I, again, you probably know people who are like you. There's plenty. Of, there's people right now waiting for me to do it to you. Do what? To take you out, Lacey Peterson stuff. See, don't don't you just picture her in a wicker chair, pregnant, with a a fraternity outfit on and a Christmas necklace and. near the Red Lion Hotel and, you know, the, near the developments and you kind of stuff your face with cold pizza all the time. What? You're probably one of those guys that has a power and has a Is this Scott calling. Peterson? You have probably... This is Martha. Scott Peterson calling from prison, isn't it? You, you probably have Martha Stewart cheap sheets and you always brag about what you have. But you probably have to you know an awful stuff. lot about interior decorating stuff. You probably have just thrift store goods like... You wear the same thing a minute. I mean, you wear the same and you're a receptionist in a dental office. You wear the same thing a mannequin does. I mean, what job. university did you attend in order to be a uh, receptionist in a dental office? Um, actually, I'm going to school right now from Nome State. To study to be what? Uh, I'm going to be a uh, graphic designer. Right. You're 23 and you're still in college. So what? I was gonna do. I was gonna do something else, but I changed careers. It's not about me. It's about you. It's all about me. You're just. You got bad woman syndromes because you, you can't get none. You're probably like one of those guys. You're actually that, attending a university. Your underarms probably look like avocados. <laughs> you probably don't wear deodorant. You got. You smell like a decomposing possum. You. 
you probably, I don't know, you probably have a yellow t-shirt that was the color of white because you turn it inside out and you don't have a wash machine. Well, nobody you, likes you. You they, sure they, have they, me pegged. Yeah, so like you could really even afford gas to go to La Jolla. Uh, Michael Savage. Why would I want to go to La Jolla? You and Michael Savage are the same kind of people. You guys come from the same drain pipe. Is that so? Yeah, you guys are two big cockroaches on the radio. That's why you guys are on radio. This is... It's just, it's just stupid playing Lacey Peterson. You know, if you came to San Francisco and said that at a uh -huh. live show on Market Street, you'd probably get, I don't know, you'd probably get put in jail. Uh, I heard something about you and Bernie Ward's drain pipe. Oh, yeah. That's that true? Really good. That's real good, Tom. You and Bernie Ward are the same shape, same shape and size. Uh, well, I'm not in prison. Yeah, well, I don't have I don't have clothes that go on a mannequin in the Goodwill store. <laughs> Just because I'm ripping you apart. Oh, <laughs> boy, tearing me limb from limb. I'm ripping you apart like a poster board inside of a, a pit bull's mouth. A pit bull's dental records. See, I, I are you that autistic kid I used to call it? I think you are. You're, I think you're a rattlesnake in a petting zoo. <laughs> yeah, real funny. That's what you should do. Mar your mama wears <laughs> army boots. Yeah, well, your mama didn't take vitamins. <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones. Yeah, your your mom did so much. Her tongue looked like bacon. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likens Show. Best part of my day. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likens. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likens Show. And we have got good news. For you. You know, you hear so much bad news. How would you like some good news for a change? I've got some. I mean, this really brightened my day. And every day you get up, all you hear about is more layoffs. And the stock market's down another 400 points. More dire predictions about the holiday season. How great it was to see a bright spot amidst all of that and here it is from CNN Governor Sarah Palin said that she would be honored to help President elect Barack Obama in his new administration even if he did hang around with what she called an unrepentant domestic terrorist well I am relieved you know that uh in that new administration, they're going to need all the help they can get, and uh, who better than Governor Sarah Palin? It says here that the Alaska governor was interviewed by Wolf Blitzer, and she said that she would be willing to help if Obama asked her. If Obama wants assistance on some of the issues that she highlighted during this year's campaign, such as energy or services for special needs children, God. She's an energy expert. Palin, whom Senator John McCain chose as his running mate in August, said it would be my honor to assist and support our new president and the new administration. She said, I speak for other Republicans, Republican governors also. They would be willing also to seize this opportunity that we have to progress this nation. That's interesting use of that word. Progress this nation together in a united front. But ask moments later about some of the tough rhetoric she hurled from the stump. <laughs> But it wasn't Heather Mills the one who did that? No. She said she was still concerned about Obama's ties to former Weather Underground member turned Chicago College professor William Ayers. That's going to go over great when she's going in for her White House interview. She said to Wolf Blitzer, this is Sarah Palin, she said, if anybody still wants to talk about it, I will. Because this is an unrepentant domestic terrorist who had campaigned to blow up uh, and uh, to destroy our Pentagon and our U.S. Capitol. 
that's an association that still bothers me, and I think it's still fair to talk about it. So you thought everything was bad. You thought everything was going down the old crapper. But look at that. Governor Sarah Palin willing to reach out across party lines to assist the Obama administration in any way she can. Well, I've got a very simple question for you. This is what we call the High Concept Talk Show, in which I'm going to ask you a simple question, and I'm going to burn through maybe a hundred potential answers to the question. Are you ready? All right. Think carefully. In which way do you think Governor Sarah Palin can help the Obama administration? You can tell us any way you can imagine. In which way do you think Governor Palin can help an Obama administration? Your telephone calls are coming up. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Well, imagine my surprise when I woke up this morning and logged on to CNN.com and there was Governor Sarah Palin saying she'd be honored to help President-elect Barack Obama in his new administration. So uh, tell us some of the ways that Governor Palin can help President-elect Barack Obama. John, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Great. Yeah, I have a job for her. I don't know if it might be too hard for her, but she can pick, uh, She can help Barack Obama pick up the dog that they, they wanted to take to the White House. Do you think she has some uh, ability in that area? Uh, maybe. Probably, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, I doubt it, but I think that's the easiest job for her. I understand. Well, thank you for that. Let's go to Leo on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. This is Leo, Tom. I know. I just said that. <laughs> this is Leo from Whittier. I just wanted to say that I think that she should pose naked for Playboy and donate all the money to Obama so they can redecorate the White House. <laughs> Maybe she should donate the money to help uh, balance the uh, national debt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She should send a little bit out to everybody. Exactly. Thank but, you, Tom. Thank you very much. Thank you, Leo. It's Jackson on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom! Jackson! I think Governor Palin can provide the same kind of services for President Obama that Monica Lewinsky provided for President Clinton. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Uh, it's a headline on the CNN website. Governor Sarah Palin says that she would be honored to help President-elect Barack Obama in his new administration. So, what are some of the ways you think Governor Palin can be helpful? Here's Tommy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Tommy. Uh, I think Obama should make her ambassador to Iraq. <laughs> Put her right in the middle. <laughs> Put it right in the middle. Let us see how it is. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're trying to find out the ways that you think that Governor Sarah Palin can be helpful to the new Barack Obama administration. She offered to help out. Uh, what are some of the ways she can be helpful? Walter on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. I Tom. I think she'd be a good pet groomer. <laughs> Have you seen any examples of her work? Um, yeah, that new dog, Ears. <laughs> <laughs> she could be the official pet groomer of the White House. I think that'd be good. Sounds good uh, to Tom, me. Yeah. Pick me out, Tom, with a bong hit and uh, Sarah Palin style. We don't have Sarah Palin style, but we got a bong hit for you. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Call me right now and tell me the ways in which Governor Sarah Palin could potentially be helpful to the new administration of President Elect Barack Obama. James on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how's it going? Going okay. 
Hey, uh, I just had a quick one. Uh, when you said that about Sarah Palin, I picture her being the girl under the podium like in Police Academy whenever he gives a speech. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, that's all I got. Time to take me out with the bog too, please. Here it comes, James. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. It's Bill on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I got a great job for her. Okay. She could pick out a whole new wardrobe of clothes for the president's wife. Because <laughs> her co the president's wife wears ugly clothes. And Sarah's got a nice new $150,000 outfit. And she could just... Help her dress, just dress her up beautiful. There we go, Bill. Thank you for that. It's Bob on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, John. Hi, Bob. Uh, you know what we can do? We can have her invite everyone from Congress to see her beautiful uh, state of Alaska and show them, uh, you know, some of the uh, scene scenery, some of the mountains, and then get buried in an avalanche. That's the <laughs> place she can... <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Governor Sarah Palin told Wolf Blitzer on CNN that she would be honored to help President-elect Barack Obama in his new administration. She would be honored. So uh, what are some things you think she could do? Ivan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's up? Not much. She can help him out picking out the terrorists and trying to start wars with them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds, that sounds like that'll be very helpful. Moses on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm okay. They should send her to Afghanistan because she has so much expertise shooting wolves from helicopters. She should terrorists from helicopters over there. <laughs> Thank, Kobe style, Tom. Thank you for that. Kobe style, here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Jack on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom! Hello, Jack. Hey, she could be the new court jester over there with the White House. When she says stuff like she did today on CNN, Brock can have a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Bill on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's going okay. Hey, she can go help get Michelle Obama dressed. My God, she needs some help. <laughs> <laughs> now, I got to say, by, by the way, Michelle Obama's a very attractive woman. But that dress she wore the night Barack uh, spoke when he won the election, yeah, it looked like a Spider-Man costume from Halloween. <laughs> can you take me out Snoop Dogg style? I certainly can. We got it. We're looking for it. It's in here. There it is. Oh, then I stepped on it. Give it to him. Yes. Yeah. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Imagine my delight when I woke up today and logged on to CNN.com and found Governor Sarah Palin saying she would be honored to help President-elect Barack Obama in his new administration. Some of the, what are some of the ways she could be helpful? Rachel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. She needs to work in the kitchen. She needs to go hunt some caribou and cook it for him. <laughs> <laughs> and then put on her huntress uniform afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Rachel. Here's Carlos on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? It's going okay. Good. I think you should make her a paperweight, man. A paperweight? Yeah. <laughs> you mean just have her sit on top of the desk? That's about all she's good for, buddy. <laughs> there we go. It's Ryan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How you doing, son? Pretty good. Um, I got two for you. She could be a speed pump in the driveway or a doorstop. <laughs> I love the high regard with which you all hold, Sarah Palin. It's Kevin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Kevin. Yes, so what I think that she should do is to... Uh, to watch Russia from her backyard and call the president when she sees something that's suspicious. <laughs> we could buy her a pair of binoculars. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that, that, will, that, will, that will work. Actually, I'll buy them for her. 
<laughs> Thank you for that, Kevin. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here's Dave on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Dad, how are you? I'm doing okay, son. Oh, uh, great. Nice to hear your voice. Hey, I've got a great idea. She could stand guard at the Bering Strait looking out over Russia, since she can see Russia from her house. Uh, that's what the last guy was talking about. You give her a telescope or some binoculars. Oh, great. Great idea. Okay. Oh, I had a suggestion for a Sarah Palin takeout, uh, like a screaming orgasm combined with a moose call. <laughs> I'm imagining the implication of, of that uh, sound effect. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. tom Good news. Sarah Palin being interviewed by Wolf Blitzer on CNN said she would be honored to help President-elect Barack Obama in his new administration. So call us and tell us now, in which ways do you think Governor Palin could be of help? Tom like it. one 800 800 tom one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six six. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. One of the shortest commercial breaks we've ever had. It's preposterous. Well, we continue with your telephone calls here at 1-800-5800-TOM. Sarah Palin said she'd be more than happy, in fact, honored to help out the new governor, I'm sorry, new uh, president-elect Barack Obama administration. <laughs> what do you think of some of the ways she can be helpful? And word on the Tom like his show, hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. How are you doing today? Great. Awesome. I was thinking, uh, you know, the Obamas are looking for a dog. They could just get a pit bull, and she could put the lipstick on it. <laughs> there we go. Maybe that's the puppy that the little girls uh, in the Obama family need to get, the pit bull. Yeah, and then, you know, Sarah could take care of the dog, and then instead of beating up on the pit bull, like a lot of people do, you just beat up on Palin. <laughs> Dan, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, Tom, how are you? Okay. Uh, so I think uh, Sarah Palin can really help the Obama administration by running for president again in four years. And that way she guarantees that he's in office for four more. <laughs> Thank you for that, George, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, George. I think the best thing she can do, you know the eight words you say that women need to know? Uh, yes, I do. She needs to utilize the last two. Shut up! <laughs> Come me up, Tom. There you go, George. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Nick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. It's Nick. I know. I and, just uh, said that. I, just, I know. It's kind of hard to hear you. Anyway, it's um, I just want to say it'd be good if uh, Sarah Palin did not give Barack Obama geography lessons. That would greatly help his administration. <laughs> Thank you for that. Jonathan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jonathan. Hey, um, I think she should be the call screener in case anybody wants to prank call Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think anybody would do that? Art on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, bro? I'm doing okay. Uh, I have an idea, but it's a long shot because Sarah Palin is actually an uh, outside pet. I was wondering if she could be maybe their dog. <laughs> you think Sarah Palin's policy there, pal? Yeah! Uh, no, the S word has not yet been approved for broadcast. Uh, if you are one of the few people who still does not know which words are not allowed to be broadcast, students, uh, all of you go to myspace.com slash Tom Likas. Go to my blog and see the complete list, unexpurgated, written by my own hand. See the list of words that will get you hung up on immediately when you call here. So that you will know before you call in, myspace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y. K-I-S. D on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom. D. Tom, I'm glad to be talking to you, man. As well, you should be. I just want to say, Tom, the brothers are with you, man. 
I love that. Hey, Tom, I just want to say uh, it's bad enough. Now, first of all, I voted for Barack Obama, but it's, okay. it's, it's worse enough to be married. But it's even worse to move your mother-in-law into the White House. What do you think, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awful. Terrible, Tom. Yes! And also, also, Tom, uh, I need some help, man. What's the problem? I, I'm a 36-year-old uh, guy, and I got my life all together, Tom, and uh, so good sometimes I feel like a dream, man, but it is what it is, but i a lot of flack from my uh, relatives, man, about having a kid, man. Why is that? I don't know, man, but I'm happy, Tom. I'm 36, I got my own business, and Everything's great, man. I don't, I don't want a kid, but I'm getting a lot of flack from my relatives to spit out a uh, crumb cruncher. Everything belongs to you, D. Right. And that's the way it should be. That's right. I mean, why that would you want to give it to some chick? Are you kidding me? That's what I keep saying, Tom. <laughs> Thank you, D. Good luck. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Governor Sarah Palin said on the uh, Wolf Blitzer program on CNN that she'd be more than happy to help out. She'd be honored to help in a uh, in a, an Obama administration. She'd be honored to help out. So what are some of the ways you think she could be helpful? Eric on the Tom Likas show, hello. Yeah, hi. I mean, the question is, like, what is a woman doing on the space shuttle? Of course, she cleans. <laughs> uh, however, if she wants a position in his uh, cabinet, how about doggy style? That would solve his dog problem, too. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Andy, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hello, father. Hello, son. Hey, uh, I think Sarah Palin should have to summarize every major newspaper in the country to Barack. First, she'd have to read one. Uh, uh, every single one of them, just for punishment. <laughs> she'd probably need to help with the big words, too. Hey, could you blow me up, Tom? Yes, yes, I can. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Seth on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Uh, I think Sarah Palin should be the White House pin monkey at their bowling alley there. <laughs> you know, I, I think that's done automatically. You want to have her do it personally? Yeah, oh yeah absolutely. Mm. Why not? That sounds good to me. Uh, Steve on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I am a huge fan of yours. Why, thank you. Um, I think we should be drilling oil in uh, Alaska. I've been there. It's like a two-mile square park. <laughs> I really do. I, I mean, there's nothing out there. I understand. I mean, it's a conversation that we should have had ten years ago. Well, uh, maybe so. But uh, what are you going to do? Rob on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Uh, Sarah Palin could teach uh, Michelle Obama how to be a hockey mom, get those little Obama kids playing hockey, and maybe somewhere down the road we'd see some more uh, African-Americans in the NHL. <laughs> Mark on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Father Tom. Yes, Mark. I got the perfect job, Tom. What's that? Obama's going to be flying around the country, right? Yes. She could be the in-flight stewardess. <laughs> Come on, Tom. You fly a lot too, my friend. What do you like to see when you're a mile high? What do you... I think like you, brother. Come on. That's the best one, Tom. Would you what, like some peanuts, Mr. President? What Michelle don't know won't hurt. Right, Tom? <laughs> Matt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey there, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay. I think she should be the babysitter for uh, Brock's kids because she had no plans of taking out care of her own kids for the next four years. <laughs> <laughs> Look what a great job she did with her own kids. Yep. Take me out. Take you out how? Uh, with the bong hit. Oh, here you go. Can we all just get a bong? Adam, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hello, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing great. Uh, I think what Sarah Palin could do is release a real-time sex tape as soon as Obama has some kind of controversy. 
<laughs> First, you have to get our hands on a video camera and then take the uh, footage. Oh, yeah. Well, how do you think uh, the little one was born, you know? <laughs> All right, here's the deal. Sarah Palin appeared with Wolf Blitzer on CNN and told him that she'd be honored to help out in a Barack Obama administration. She'd be honored. So why don't you think of some of the ways she could help Barack Obama as he uh, begins his uh, his term in office? Uh, this is HD on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, hello, Tom. I think she could be a, a, a good chef, a chef in the main kitchen for, uh, for the White House. Well, what would she make? I mean, baby food for her for for her baby. Baby food for the baby. Yeah, for, yeah. How would she be helping Obama doing that? I mean, because she's gonna be the babysitter. Okay, it's Doug on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, I got a great job for her. What's that, Doug? I think that uh, since she accused him of palling around with known terrorists. That she could keep track of all the known terrorists and give Wolf, Blue Wolf Blitzer an update every day about what Obama's doing. <laughs> she could have a permanent chair in the Situation Room. Yeah, they could like have her travel around, keep track of all the terrorists. She seems to be good at that. Yeah, I love that. Marty on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. The best way for her to help is to stay away as far as she can. <laughs> and I got a tip for the. Taking people out, Sarah Palin style. You just take a snippet from the Canadian uh, prank call. <laughs> that would be fantastic, sir. That, that might not be a bad idea. Leah on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yeah. I she should uh, teach his girls how to go hunting once a week and then take the dead moose home and then make some uh, stew and teach the girls how to make hunting stew. <laughs> All right. Very good. You heard the story. Sarah Palin appeared on CNN with Wolf Blitzer and told him that she would be honored to help the Barack Obama administration any way she can. So you tell me, what are some ways you think that Sarah Palin could be helpful to Barack Obama? Come on, Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. 800 it its the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, I'm Tom Likas at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. <laughs> oh, coming up in just a couple of minutes here. Amazing dirt from the gossip editor of the National Enquirer that involves the John McCain household. I know the election is over, but this is going to blow you away. Mike Walker with the details coming up. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Don't even think about going anywhere. All right. In what ways can Governor Sarah Palin be helpful to the Barack Obama administration? Let's say hello here to uh, TJ on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, TJ. Listen, uh, I think the only job she's worthy of would be uh, toilet paper dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom, can you take me out uh, taser style? Yes, yes, I can. What did I do? Get off of me, man. I didn't do anything. Hey, don't don't tase me, bro. Don't uh, tase me. I didn't do anything. Ow! 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 It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Oh, 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 oh. Mike Walker coming up here for the National Enquirer with the latest dirt from John McCain's household. This is going to blow you away. Let's say hello here to Christian on the Tom Likas show. Hey Tom, love the show. Thank you. Hey, I was going to say what you could do is you could take Sarah Palin and uh, Miss Teen South Carolina, put them together on a tour around all the schools of the country to show them that some kids should be left behind. Can you take me out, uh, Bill O'Reilly style? Yes, yes, I can. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Uh, f thing sucks. I can't wait for what we're about to do now. This is so great. You know, we, we love having Mike Walker on the program just to chit-chat. 
<laughs> we do. And we've always been big fans of the National Enquirer. And as you may know, Mike Walker is the gossip editor of the National Enquirer. And the National Enquirer has a story that is smoking hot. It's smoking hot. How you doing, Mike? Fine, and I, I love that, that sort of slavering sound that you get when you come across a really good gossipy story. It shows that you're one of us. I am licking my chops. Yeah, I can hear it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. It is. It's a hell of a story. I mean, it comes in the wake of, of the Inquirer has. We've just been kicking some ass with political stories, and uh, this one sure does kick ass. The pictures, even though blurry, are pretty good. I mean, here is Cindy McCain. I guess you've probably told your listeners already. What oh, no, no, no. This is the big tease. You know, it's All radio, right. Mike. Hey, well, you continue teasing and then lead up and then hit with the headline and then I'll come back. All right. Well, I will, I will give you the headline. This straight. I went to the National Enquirer website to see the headline, but you have to get the paper to see the full effect and the photos of the whole thing. But here it is. World exclusive. Cindy McCain caught cheating on J-Mac. <laughs> Mike Walker. <laughs> this is too good to be true. It, it is. It is really quite a sensational story, considering especially that it comes right around the time when the man is, is, you know, was running for president of the United States. And here is Cindy McCain. Now remember, there's an 18 year age difference. He's 72. She's 54, and a very attractive woman. I mean, I think we're all agree on that. Oh yeah. And, um, you know, she's always at his side. And I guess you probably noticed that com a few commentators have mentioned the fact that they don't seem to touch much or whatever. But, you know, okay, you've been married a bunch of years. You know, you're not going to be touchy-feely necessarily. But everybody has kind of watched this thing. And then all of a sudden it comes the bombshell shell news. And let me just say that this is coming from eyewitnesses and you will see in the Inquirer, uh, you're looking at them now, Tom, photos of Cindy McCain, not, you know, with the holding hands or like kind of close together or cuddly, uh, 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 kissing, and I mean kissing. Oh, yes. Like, this is like a porn movie. This is not a peck on the cheek. I'm oh, looking at it right baby. now. Oh, man. I mean, she is going into this guy like she's trying to get through to the other side. And it's... um the guy, by the way, his age is given as, uh, we don't identify him, his age is given as 50. He is a very, from what I can see in these photos, uh, a very good-looking guy. And I was talking to our office, and uh, they can see it a little more clearly than I can see it, obviously. But they say, yeah, he's, he, you know, he's a good-looking guy. So here they were. Here's this, this eyewitness who said to us, and here's a direct quote from the eyewitness, I couldn't believe I was watching Cindy McCain passionately kissing and hugging another man. This is an eyewitness who watched in shock and then snapped photos as this former presidential candidate's wife romantically kissed this long-haired man who resembles, and this is what the eyewitness told us, I love this, quote, a washed-up 80s rock musician. <laughs> <laughs> I got the picture. And this happened, apparently, according to your uh, your source, it happened at something called the Tempe Music Festival. Yes, that's that's correct. And uh, But the guy has also seen them um, uh, at uh, the uh, U2 concert in Glendale in April 2005, a Modi Blues concert in Phoenix, a Rolling Stones concert. <laughs> this is, is... And then... At the Barrett Jackson Collector Car Auction, so they they get around, <laughs> and uh, I I just it it is stunning, you know. I'm just really looking. I haven't had a chance to really look at these pictures. Today's my deadline day, my friend, and only for Tom Likas. Oh. As I told Dean, only for Tom Likas. I mean, Nancy Grace wanted me on today. I said, no, <laughs> television. <laughs> Beyond with Tom Likas, buddy, I break everything. But I, as a result, I didn't really look at the pictures real carefully. You know, I saw the headline. Yeah, she's cute. Man, oh, man, is she going for this guy or what? It's unbelievable. Yeah, it really, really is. And it makes you wonder, is she insane? Now, she was at the back of a room, I guess, at this gathering. I guess it was a bar back there, you know, and you know how it always is at those yeah. events. All crushed and crowded, and people are back there. And she and he went around sort of to the back of the bar area, and there were a lot of people going, oh, can I get a drink, can I get a beer? And I guess they figured, hey, who, nobody's looking at us, here's our chance. And this guy happened to see them and said, oh, my God, that's Cindy McCain. 
and had his trusty camera, and he said that they didn't react. They didn't know they were being photographed, and then he said he wanted to make sure he got good pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so he used a flash. He said that they left immediately after that. Um, it is it is astounding. Uh, now, you know, one question in my head is, uh, if they've been seen around for so long, why didn't this come out before the election? Well, it makes you wonder because, again, you and I have discussed this before. Um, it makes you wonder. I mean, we do not, as you know, the Inquirer, political stories that we get are usually, you know, we run across them, we hear about them. You know, we are more oriented toward, you know, the world of show business and celebrity and so forth and human interest. Um, but we we don't go out on the campaign trail. So somebody must have seen this going on. Some reporter somewhere saw this, Tom. Trust me. Oh, I know it. And you know what? They just, you know, I've told you this before, and you know it to be true. So many reporters just, you know, go along to get along and vice versa. Well, I do know one and former reporter is a very good friend of mine who told me that uh, all kinds of things are known about the McCain's by the uh, by the news media in phoenix and uh, amazingly none of it has come out yeah yeah it is it is true it's just like us with you know the things we know about people in show business say that that don't come out for one reason or another not usually in our case because we we don't have the guts i mean hey you know we're the ones who took on our our friend uh, your friend and mine or, or ex-friend i guess now uh <laughs> um, rush limbaugh yeah and exposed him as a drug addict. And, you know, I take no joy in that. I knew Rush many, many years ago, and I know you did. Of course. And and Rush, you know, at one time was a, you know, a, uh, and maybe still is, you know, a sort of a decent sort of a guy. But when he went all hypocritical and said anybody who ever takes drugs for any reason should go to jail, gee, we had hoped he would hold himself up to the same high standard. And, of course, he did not. So we have no compunction about revealing things like this when they, you know, have a good reason to be revealed. Uh, and you will and find them in the National Enquirer. We're out of time for this hour, Mike. Always a pleasure, as you know. Pleasure is all mine, sir. Thank you, Tom. The National Enquirer, read all the salacious details about Cindy McCain. It's on your newsstand now. It's the Tom Likas Show.